Hello, good morning, or should I say good afternoon now. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session, Tuesday, 17th of April 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at the w.tradesignal.com or the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of the uh, market's reaction, then let's see exactly what's going on here in terms of the market moves. Uh, overnight, Asian markets certainly moved uh, negative, given the fact that the Shanghai certainly finished lower, uh, even though economic data are, are overnight certainly came more or less in line, but it certainly seems that markets so, and that's again, the data was prior to the actual trade wars, and obviously uh, going forward, that certainly won't be uh, looking good uh, or looking as good. Uh, retail sales are from China certainly coming in better than expected, but and the uh, GDP numbers more or less in line. Okay, so or slightly be slight beat on a uh, year on year, but the uh, the actual quarter on quarter came in slightly lower. Uh, fixed asset investment certainly on the lower side. Okay, industrial production on the lower side as well, but retail sales certainly being expectations. Okay, in terms of the rest of the uh, the Euro, uh, economic data for today. We've had um, Japanese industrial production on the lower side as well. Uh, so again, that's certainly negative. Uh, UK data this morning, average earnings certainly uh, coming in on the weaker side. Uh, again, alleviating concerns that the, uh, the BOE is going to raise rates. So again, that's certainly something to consider. FTSE 100 certainly has been beaten as of late due to the strength in sterling now. Sterling certainly seems to have put on a potential top into their topping tail. Let's see if that continues given the fact that uh, going into the BOE whether that weaker wage inflation or average earnings uh, coming in weaker than expected will deter them from raising rates. Uh, again, let's see how that responds. In terms of uh, European data, the uh, ZEW numbers for Germany and Eurozone certainly came in on the weaker side. Exceptionally weak for Germany, and again, trade wars certainly remain the main theme. Uh, the um, Chinese are certainly retaliating in terms of sorghum. Uh, the latest news there with regards to China. China says prepared, ready to start trade countermeasures. Hu Chung Ying, spokesman for foreign ministry. China is cutting its reserve ratio again, cut its reserve ratio as well. I think that really is just to counter the uh, U.S. trade uh, war uh, concerns. Okay, so again, that's certainly something to uh, take into mind. Okay, not as big as a deal as potential some soybeans, but China is still a billion billion dollar export market for U.S. sorghum producers. A further sign from China that despite U.S. pressure, they're not backing down. China slaps a 179 percent charge on U.S. sorghum imports. So. Again, trade wars continue, and therefore that's a risk negative, uh, and certainly expecting the markets to slide up on that news. Okay, so Asian markets down overnight. Uh, again, the Shanghai index uh, certainly negative, down 1.4%, and the Hang Seng down 0.8% as well. Let's see how US markets react now. The uh, ongoing uh, case regarding Cohen and the uh, so called um, Stormy Daniels affair, and uh, Mr. Trump certainly seems to be doing the round as well. That certainly is risk negative, so bear that in mind too. Okay, so certainly seems risk negative overall. I mean, you've got concerns with regard to geopolitics. You've got concerns in Syria as well. A situation there. A latest news from Mr. Macron accusing uh, Russia of uh, obviously uh, destroying the evidence, as if there was any evidence in the first place. It just, the whole thing is comical. Okay, it certainly is comical creating these false flag events so they can justify wars and, and, and justify sending missiles over as well. Especially in the UK, I mean, there was no um, democratic vote of whether we should obviously go back and engage into Syria. And again, it, these, there's no mission, there's no purpose. It, it really seems to be um, very strange in terms of ge uh, geopolitical events at the moment. And again, it certainly creates more uncertainty, which is risk off from that perspective. Now, let's look at the actual uh, technical picture first. First of all, the German DAX. Looking at the daily chart here, German DAX certainly uh, holding resistance here after that uh, topping tail doji candle that was uh, put in on the Friday. Again, looking for risk aversion, especially given the weaker ZEW data as well. So looking, looking for a potential slide, 60 minute chart, failing to retest that double top, looking for a lower high now. 10 minute chart, we've obviously gapped higher quite considerably given the fact that Netflix came with stronger earnings. That certainly has helped, and uh, the Syria dis potential de-escalation issue. Uh, we've certainly gapped as high as um, from 12.390. Yesterday, obviously, we've gapped uh, in excess of 120 points, 110 points. So, again, looking for risk negative, given the weaker ZEW data as well. Looking for this market to slide, so watch out there. Okay, so moving on in terms of the French CAC. Okay, now looking at the daily chart, the French CAC, again, we're into that key resistance zone. You're into that gap level here. Obviously, gap fill uh, on the French CAC, so watch out there. Again, if we continue to move higher, the next level is 5365. 
Uh, so daily chart certainly indicating resistance. Take the pivot high, take the pivot low. Obviously, you're in that Fib 50 to 61 percent resistance zone. Okay, 60 minute chart at the moment. We're back at that double top scenario. I mean, if we do break high, then obviously, next resistance is a much higher up at 5360. But for now, we've held double top, looking to potentially smooth south, looking to close that gap 5312, potentially retest the previous low as well. So, bear, bear watch out for that. 10 minute chart again, like I said, double top. You are looking at gap fill below, so again, the unfilled gap below. Given the trade trade war concerns, etc., that certainly is weighing on sentiment at the moment. Obviously, situation in America as well, political turmoil there. Again, looking for gap fill at five three ten. So watch out below in terms of French gap. Moving on to the FTSE one hundred, we did have the initial thrust on the FTSE. Uh, quite impressive. Uh, we're certainly selling off now, though. Okay, so again, uh, the double bottom scenario, double bottom support is seen at seven one ninety now. So watch out for seven one ninety. Uh, but bear in mind that is a potential argument for an inverted head and shoulders formation as well so don't, so don't ignore that you're looking at your left shoulder here head here and then obviously right shoulder and looking to potential reverse now given the fact that the, the wage wage inflation certainly came in weaker than expected that certainly should had help the argument for a potential move higher so watch out there on the FTSE 100 and the potential move next okay just taking the Pivot high, just connecting them together. There's no real diagonal trend line other than the inverted head and shoulders. Now, either we hold the right shoulder here, higher low, and then move higher, or we retest double bottom and make some sort of base and then obviously look to move higher. So, either or uh, scenario certainly is uh, certainly uh, plausible. Okay. In terms of Euro stocks, let's just have a look here. Euro stocks hit double top here at 3466 on the 10 minute chart, 60 minute chart, so clearly showing you uh, double top as well. Okay, so double top and we drop generally speaking. Okay, daily chart as well. You're looking at key resistance where previous support equals resistance. So, European equities have had quite an impressive run as of late. Okay, but certainly it seems to be top heavy now. Trade war concerns are dominating again. Okay, so on that note, please be uh, sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and be sure to download the latest app from Trade Sigma. Goodbye now.